everything about composting took roots in the realm of volunteerism driven by a bunch of eco-conscious individuals. We wanted our city to be not just clean but also green. But what triggered all this? First, the entry of MNCs into India in the early 1990s. Second, the emergence of Bangalore as the Silicon Valley of India in the next decade. These two developments changed the socio-economic scene of the city tremendously. Population increased, gated communities popped up almost everywhere, waste generation increased, so did unhindered landfilling. Just like all other cities, Bangalore also refused to wake up to the worsening garbage menace. But that was only till Mahabalipura and Mando, the two major dumping grounds, broke out in protests and refused to take the mark in. The writing on the wall was clear, your trash is nobody's treasure. Around this time, the city municipality also put the onus of segregation and composting on those generating more than 50 kgs of waste. This is when the thought of managing one's own garbage began to trickle into the collective consciousness. But only a few thought of taking it to a higher level. They began looking for solutions by evolving locally and contextually. Among them was SWMRT, a constellation of self-driven activists. Volunteerism at a community level began with individuals like me playing an instrumental role in setting up zero-waste communities. My community, Shobha Althia Azalea, was hailed as the best model to be replicated across Karnataka by the media. Similarly, committed volunteers like Andal Jagannathan from Godrej Woodsman and Padma Patil from Purva Venezia showed what it takes to build a self-sustaining entity and take collective pride in it. Meanwhile, fake machines called 24-hour composters, which are nothing but glorified incinerators, were spoiling the entire atmosphere literally and figuratively. Yet, progress happened, bit by bit. Social media, especially Facebook, became the seedbed of intense activity where volunteers from across the city began discussing waste management in all its minute details. Cross-pollination of ideas and the influence of role models kept driving the movement. The whole atmosphere was charged with enthusiasm never seen before. In 2013, my blog, Endlessly Green, also carved out its own niche with articles on SWM in general and composting in particular. It attracted thousands of readers from across the country. It still does. As a result, composting went on in homes, communities, temples, schools, offices, parks, vegetable markets, restaurants, almost everywhere. Is this the end of this beautiful story? Not yet. A couple of years down the line, volunteers began facing a different kind of problem. Excess compost stockpiling on their premises. That's when SWMRT engineered a campaign called Swachagraha Compost Connect, SGCC, in 2019. The idea was to create pathways to take compost from apartments to farmlands. Through a WhatsApp group, we built a network of genuine compost producers and buyers. But still, farmers were afraid of heavy metal contamination because they thought compost came from mixed garbage. High transport costs also posed major stumbling blocks. After a few sales, the group fell silent. Nothing much got exchanged there other than some occasional good mornings and good nights. It was disappointing and demoralizing, but we persisted. We kept pestering the farmers with calls and somehow convinced some of them to take the plunge. By mid-2020, sales began to happen. One farmer's confidence inspired another and yet another. We had terrace gardeners and resellers trickling into the group slowly but steadily. Although it began pretty humbly, the campaign started to dream big. The vision was taking the biomass back to the soil and the mission to breathe life into the degraded soil that's hungry for four M's microbes, mulch, matter, that is organic matter, and moisture. So far, more than 80 tons of compost 
through 55 sales has reached the farmlands instead of landfills we know that it is just a beginning and we have still miles to go but still whenever we see the trucks loaded with black gold being driven out of the apartments and when we get fantastic feedback from the farmers one thing becomes clear unrelenting idealism is in the end the mightiest realism the dream of closing the loop meaningfully and beautifully by entering the final frontier that is soil has begun through sgcc if your city has communities composting their waste consider replicating the sgcc model as the next step because in my humble opinion there can't be a better way of upholding the law of return as designed by nature let's compost let's conquer thank you